My name is Jason, and I'm going to demonstrate how to install version 3.1 of Overt, the open virtualization platform, on a single uh, machine uh, to make it easy to test. So I'm starting off here with a Fedora, 60, or Fedora 17 64 uh, bit machine. And um, I'm going to begin the process by installing the uh, Overt release package, and that's available at uh, overt.org. Uh, the release package includes the uh, repository information um, that, um, that lets your computer know where all the overt packages are stored. And because the, the, we're still in the beta period right now, the release is tomorrow, I have to edit the beta section here to enable the beta repository. And in the future, when you want to try out a beta, that's what you'll do as well. So then I'm going to um, install this package, uh, overt engine, uh, setup plug-in all-in-one and this package pulls in all the pieces that are required for Overt Engine which is the management uh, server for Overt and also to run uh, your Overt uh, management engine as a uh, as a host for virtualization as well that's the, the all-in-one so this is way sped up uh, and that's done. <laughs> so ne next we run the engine setup script and we're just going to go, this is, you can go with the defaults for most of the things here. Um, what's the address of your engine, uh, the ports, what's your administrator password, that's the, the default admin password. Um, you can go ahead with the NFS storage and uh, you have the choice of a local or remote uh, uh, host for your database. I stick with local and uh, we're creating an ISO domain that's going to uh, store the ISO images that we'll install VMs from. And this bit here, this configure VDSM on this host, that is what the, the VDSM is the daemon that uh, manages the actual virtualization and that's all going to happen on the single system. So we go through that script and this is a little sped up as well I believe and uh, it, it will uh, create the database, create the, uh, the, the JBoss app server settings, all the, uh, the, the other pieces that are required. And then this last step here is adding your, your uh, making the engine itself a virtualization host. And this is this timed out, uh, this, uh, the project we need to uh, extend the time out here but um, because this is almost the last step in the process and the actual management server parts are already done, we can go ahead and log into the admin console to finish out the installation. So I'm going to go here in my browser to uh, the, uh, the URL of my, uh, of my management engine, uh, go to the administrator portal link, and this is an SSL connection and log in with the credentials that I entered during the setup script. And when the admin console comes up, we'll take a look at the, uh, at the hosts tab after I just adjust this a little bit to make do with the smaller resolution. Okay, so you see here the, the, the host, uh, the local host, the, the, you know, the, the local host as a host is still installing. And when we look down here in the events area, we can see that uh, it's still installing uh, more of the packages it needs. Now, if you were to reach out to another system to turn it into a host, it would do the same process. You, the engine logs into the host, installs the needed packages, makes some configuration changes, and when all that's done, it restarts the VDSM uh, daemon, and once that's done, it's up. So uh, with the host added, the next step is we have to have our uh, our data domain, and that's the the, the place that houses the uh, images for the the running virtual machines. Uh, this is supposed to be taken care of in that setup script, but because it timed out before it got to this, we're doing it here. So we put the host. Uh, in the host tab into maintenance mode. Click the configure local storage uh, link. And this path is the same path that I entered for the local data store during the install script. So we let this configuration process run. This is again sped up for your convenience. And then once we get the, this local storage step completed, and it's down here. We're going to go over to the storage tab, and this ISO domain 
that we see here, this NFS uh, ISO domain, is the one we created during the install script. So we just have to attach it to our data center. And then once uh, the during that attach process, it creates some files. And uh, once that lock goes away, there we go. We can click on uh, down here and activate it. So now we have the ISO domain activated, we have our data domain activated, and we're ready to install some virtual machines. And uh, to see that step, uh, there's a, a separate video about creating virtual machines in Overt that you can take a look at. Uh, uh, if you're interested in installing Overt or learning more about the project, I encourage you to go to overt.org. That's the project website. And um, check it out. And uh, if you're so inclined, uh, get involved with the project.